early bird gets the worm. But today, the early bird gets the babysitter. Let's walk, walk the, the prank. prank. Hi. Hi, come on in. I'm Lori, nice to meet you. Hey. Come on in. Hey there. This Dance. is Chance. Nice to meet you. Meet Laura. She thinks she's here to babysit some kids, but she has no idea she's about to take a crash course in bird watching. Dusty's outside, my other son. Um, I'll just be gone for a couple of hours. I have an appointment and try to get my nails done. And speaking of Dusty, here he comes now, covered in bird poop. Birds are back. Oh, no. <gasps> you know what, though? You know what they say about that? It's good luck. Well, I've been good luck seven times so far this week. Unfortunately, Laura, what we have planned has nothing to do with luck. So we are having a bit of a bird issue. They've been, I guess we're like in a migratory path or something, so they've hit the window a couple of times. If that happens, I'm sorry, don't touch it. Um, <laughs> so now mom leaves and Dusty joins us in a nice clean shirt. Yeah. Did you get it off? I did. Nice. All right, I'm back in a poop-free shirt, so. Hey, right. I'm good. We couldn't have a real bird fly into that window, so we got another crew member to throw a bean bag at it instead. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Is that a bird? No! No, 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 oh, not another one. I think. She bought it. She thinks a real bird hit the window. Okay, so now that we've had fun with our fake bird, let's go back inside and have some fun with our real bird. Because it just so happens that we have a bird trainer hiding under the window just outside. And she's about to release her feathered friend right over Laura's head. I feel like birds will be clean though. Is this one spot? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Yo, there's a bird! Oh my gosh! Okay, so we've shown her a fake bird, then a real bird. So now let's introduce her to a real, real big bird. No, no. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No way! when the bird came out, like... I was like, it's kind of strange to have, like, a bird problem, but that was insanity. Yes. You did a really good job so of passing you... through the wall, Mr. Bird. Hey, did you think that was a real giant bird? At first, I, I didn't really know what second. it was, but, yeah, yeah, it actually really does look like a giant bird. Yo, I just walked the prank. In this next prank, Herman and I are going to be playing two kids who are really proud of our dad. He's a scientist that does amazing work with animals and we're gonna show them some of our experiments. Little do they know that our dad's a mad scientist who got this crate delivered to his lab. <laughs> Let's walk the prank! All right. You guys, uh, be good. Right, Bye, guys. You. Meet Jackie. She thinks she's here to babysit us, but she's about to get a lesson in weird science. Our dad's a scientist. Really? I really wanna be a scientist when I'm older. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wanna see his workroom? Um, sure. Coming into the workroom was a big mistake. We just got this. What is it? It's like a it's like a different animal or something. There's something in there? Yep. Don't mess with it. Okay. Here, Dad tells us not to mess with stuff like that. It's not like a cute little puppy. Good guess. But no, it's not a cute little puppy. What our dad does for a living is he um, splices um, animals together. So he basically <laughs> takes animals and he puts their DNA together and he tries to make different type of animals. <clears throat> Not good. Looks like that thing wants out. Oh, well. So anyway. Oh, that's so weird. Where is it? 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 Steve back. Steve back. What is it? I don't know. It was crazy looking. <gasps> I'm gonna make a run for it. I'm gonna make a run for it. scared me. <laughs> that guy was scary. Did you kind of have fun? 
I did. I did. I did. I just watched the prank. Woo! So for this prank, we set up a campsite way out in the woods where it's nice and dark. Here comes our target now. Hey, how you doing? I'm Will. Jonathan. Jonathan, nice yeah. to meet you, bro. Meet Jonathan. He thinks he's here to be an extra camp counselor for the night. We're going to put him in charge of watching over Herman and Dusty. I'm about to got to go get some firewood. I'm just going to be gone for a couple of minutes. And I have two campers in there. They came late, so that's who you're going to be staying with. You're going to stay it. with them. Also, um, there's been a lot of bears, so okay. just make sure everybody has their bag zipped up. And when we come back, we're going to start the fire and all that stuff. So okay. s'mores and cool. hot dogs, awesome. ghost stories, okay. it's going to be fun. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So even though we're doing a prank about a bear, hey, if you um, see a real yeah, one, don't go near it or provoke it. They are extremely yeah. dangerous. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna... Hey, guys, this is Jonathan. That's Herman, and that's Dusty right here. Hey, Dusty. Hey. Dusty and Herman. Herman, yeah. right here. Awesome. All right, thank you, my friend. No problem. And now that Uncle Will's gone, let's welcome right, Jonathan into our Let's tent of terror. How you guys doing? Do you know why they call it a sleeping bag? Uh, kind of you sleep on the bag, I guess. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Jonathan seems like an experienced camper. Okay. It's a good thing, too, because he's going to need it. Yeah, I can't stand sure on my bag. Just zip up all your bags. He was saying there's, like, bears. Bears? Just zip up your bags That's no fun. Will do. Will do, for sure. Yep, we know, Jonathan. And now that we're done moving bags around and repacking them for no reason, I think it's time that we get this prank started. How about we cue some bear noises? Which, by the way, is just one of our crew members in the back rattling a trash can. You guys not hear that? Stop it. Yeah. Probably like a raccoon. It's definitely not a raccoon, and Jonathan is looking pretty anxious. Let's try that again. A little noisier this time. Good. Okay. Okay, that looks like a... That looks like a bear. Wait, you're um, staying, you're staying. Wait, get away from the door. Turn, turn off the light, turn off the light. Yep, it's a bear, Jonathan. Well, really just our stuntman in a bear costume. Um... So now we switch to our infrared camera so we can see everything that's going on in that dark tent. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. You can't leave us. They can run 40 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour? Uh, Bears can actually literally run. He's just, he's just going through the trash. He's just going through the trash. Now that Jonathan looks nice and terrified, it's time for Dusty to suddenly become a brave dummy. Go away, bear! No, 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 the bear doesn't seem too happy. Maybe Herman's got a better idea. I'm gonna throw a sandwich out. Bang, bang, what are you doing? No. Just perfect, Herman. Let the bear know there's fresh food in the tent. <gasps> Looks like our target and kids are trapped in the tent. And this bear is not going away. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Send the smallest kid out to attack the bear. I can't do this anymore. Hey, no, hey, hey. no, Herman, Herman. Wait, no, 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 stop. Whoa, 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 well, you were about to fight the bear. You were that brave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, no. He, <laughs> when a kid jumps onto a bear, uh, yeah, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna do something. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I just walked the prank.